Hey everybody, how's it going? Just getting into work here. I found out we got another guy working with us today. Uh, Detective Sharp's filling in, working some overtime. Uh, he and I used to work together for many years uh, a while ago, but he hasn't worked the road in quite some time. So I figured the only way to really give him a warm welcome back into the patrol is to immediately go on the offensive. There he is. Detective Sharp, Grayson is a lowly patrolman with your presence. Ryan, speaking of that, what do you guys serve down here now? This stuff's terrible. <laughs> used to that nice cush life upstairs with banker's hours and nice amenities. It's true. I think last night I was in bed uh, by about 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if you guys ever need a case to go upstairs to die, that's uh, Detective Sharp's your guy to go to. Ryan, did you hear that radio call? I think there's a barking dog call. You should probably go handle that. So for you guys that aren't familiar with Detective Sharp, he's actually one that started a lot of the social media stuff with uh, Twitter is what he's mostly known for. Um, and once he moved upstairs to the detectives, he kind of passed it off to me. So he's kind of my, uh, my Yoda that I go to. Let's see if we can make him green. Say something like Yoda. Mm, yes. <laughs> no, that was, ah, no, that was. Tonight actually works out pretty well because uh, we've got the original, the replacement, and the replacement's replacement. Chris Scott, everyone. Hi. Hey. Uh, so we're welcome Chris to the team. We're kind of try to show him a little bit of the ropes and uh, take it away there, Link. Social media team. High five. Really? Come on, I'm the shortest guy in the department. Come on. I'm the second High shortest. Five, tallest guy. High five. <laughs> I can't help it, okay? It's like my third cup. I'm getting shakes now. Yeah. <laughs> so I know we've talked before about how you know the chief wants us to do informational posts and the public wants us to do funny posts because that's what they like. And if we post purely information, nobody sees it because nobody shares it or likes it or anything else like that. And then uh, we've talked about trying to find that balance between putting humor into like an informational post so people will actually uh, you know, like it and share it kind of thing. That's kind of what's, I think, set us apart from a lot of the other departments. Um, and did you see the dinosaur post we did this week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, the, the whole point behind that was that our parks close when it gets dark out, but nobody knows that. So we spend a fair amount of time almost every night kicking somebody out in the park because they're like, oh, I didn't know this park was closed. Like, yeah, every, every night parks close at dark. So we decided to make a bit humor out of it. You know, put that it was like Jurassic Park, so at, you know, when it gets dark, the dinosaurs come out, and so that's what we were fighting them. Um, so that's that's one way, like, we've tried to tackle that. Um, yeah, and so much like Ryan said, our, we've found a lot of success, and whenever we incorporate humor in our posts from the very beginning, we found pretty quickly that that's what people liked and that's what caught on. So um, I know originally, like, when I started, I, was, I had a lot of focus on Twitter, um, and then we kind of created the Instagram, um, and then that's when, when Ryan got on board, and um, he really kind of carried on the uh, the Instagram, and then he got the, the YouTube going. Um, and we also, we've had a Snapchat account. We had it going for a while, um, but it's set kind of idle. Hey, three, can you come back here? Um, and that's where um, Chris Scott, he's, he's pretty familiar with Snapchat, pretty good at it, so we're going to hopefully get him on board to help out a little bit with that one. Yeah, it'll be one more platform that we're trying to reach people on too so he's gonna hopefully kind of show us the ropes on that he's a lot more familiar with that than we are um, do you ever have it where people send you messages when there's like some kind of trendy challenge or something going on all the time yeah whether it's the the mannequin challenge or the yes the get up challenge when are you guys gonna get tiktok y'all should do the get up challenge do dancing videos Mannequin challenge. When are you gonna get TikTok? Do dancing videos. Do the lip sync challenge. Get up challenge. 
do dancing videos. Did the lip sync challenge. All right, it's actually a really good point. There is a lot of challenges that people always want to try to put as part of, but we do enough uh, ridiculous stuff on our own that I don't really feel like we have to do any dancing challenges, mainly because we can't dance. It's true. Or sing. Um, but we do know other ridiculous stuff. So, hopefully, uh, you know, with hopefully Chris stepping up with the uh, Snapchat, I'll try to help out with that where I can. He's going to teach me how to do it. Um, we'll be able to do some more stuff for you guys. Um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll try to keep being entertaining for you guys. Till next time. See ya.